If you're looking for the very best search engine to power your project, you've probably heard of Elasticsearch and Solar. Now, which one is better? Which one's faster? Which one scales better? Which one's easier to manage? These are all common questions that developers are asking. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Do you prefer Elasticsearch or do you prefer Solar? But if you ever need professional consulting on Solar or Elasticsearch, check out Semitech Services. Our team literally wrote the books on this subject, and we can help you choose, set up, or optimize your system. Link for that down in the description below. Okay, but in general, which one is better? Well, that really depends on your needs. Under the hood, both engines are built upon Apache Lucene. When fully optimized and running correctly, Solar and Elasticsearch should run about the same. Think of Apache Lucene as a Linux kernel, while Elastic and Solar are Linux distributions. Yes, there are differences, but most differences in performance are caused by user error. Most of the time. But there are a few key differences. Let's talk about them. So, difference number one. Open source versus was at one point open source but is no longer. Solar has been an open source project since its conception. To date, it's under the Apache License 2.0. That means that it is an open source project that literally anybody can go and grab and use in their projects. You can pretty much do whatever you want with it as well. Want to create a SaaS company and install search engines for big companies? Go for it. It's free and it's open source. It was developed by the community and managed by the Apache Software Foundation. On the other hand, Elasticsearch is complicated. It was open sourced by Shea in 2010 and it was under the Apache 2.0 license, and hundreds of developers enthusiastically contributed to its build. In 2012, Shea, the founder, along with other investors, opened a company called Elastic, and in 2021, for various reasons, the software switched to their own license. Elasticsearch is now dual licensed and is under a server-side public license and a proprietary license. With these licenses comes new restrictions for business using Elasticsearch code past version 7.11. Now, there's a lot of drama surrounding this, and I don't want to get too much into it, but let's just say that these licenses are sometimes considered open source, but not considered open source by the open source initiative. So Elastic is still free to use for most things, but it is owned by a company that can change its mind at any point in the future. While Solar, on the other hand, is owned by a nonprofit and OSI approved. So be sure to take that into consideration when deciding which search platform is right for you. Do your own research and keep in mind, I'm not a lawyer. I will not take responsibility for what you do with the search engine. Difference number two, shard placement. Elasticsearch is very dynamic as far as placements of indices and shards are concerned. Elasticsearch can move shards around the cluster when a certain action happens. For example, when a new node joins or a node is removed from the cluster, we can control where the shard should or shouldn't be placed by using awareness tags. We can tell Elasticsearch to move shards around on demand using an API call. It's very forgiving and pretty understanding. Solar, on the other hand, is more robotic and static out of the box. By default, even when Solar nodes join or leave a cluster, Solar doesn't do anything about it. Solar tried creating an auto-scaling solution to allow you to define rules for shard placement, but it was just bad. If you have version 7 or 8, you can still get it, but I don't recommend using it. It was depreciated in late Solar 8 versions and will be replaced by something hopefully in the near future. Difference number 3. DevOps friendly. Elasticsearch is owned by a company, and that company focuses a lot of its resources on creating a smooth and pleasant onboarding process. To run Elasticsearch, you run a single download and a single command, and it's done. It has a nice and consistent API that allows you to monitor and operate Elasticsearch. Solar, on the other hand, being open sourced, has spent a lot of its resources on functionality over ease of use. For example, Solar uses Apache Zookeeper and must be deployed alongside Solar, while Elasticsearch is a single, all-in-one type package. The same goes for monitoring and operational APIs. Solar has them, but generally speaking, they're not as complete and well-rounded as the APIs from Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch will warn you or even try to stop you from doing something stupid. Solar, on the other hand, lets you do exactly what you type, which can be a blessing or a curse depending on who's typing. Am I right? Both Solar and Elasticsearch offer great support and have a lively and active community. But because Elasticsearch is easier to install and operate, DevOps people are more likely to choose Elasticsearch over Solar. Analytics engines. 
Solar is large and has a lot of data analysis capabilities. First and foremost, facets. They were the very first implementation that allowed us to slice and dice through data. These were a data analysis's very best friend. Then Solar got JSON facets. JSON facets are very similar features, but run a whole lot faster and use a lot less memory. And more recently, Solar supported stream-based expressions called streaming expressions. With these, you can combine data from multiple sources and decorate them using various expressions. Very powerful and super customizable. On the other hand, Elasticsearch's aggregations are similar to Solar's JSON facets. You have a very JSON-y way of nesting data if you need to. Though Elasticsearch's aggregations can't really compete with the performance of Solar's JSON facets, you can do more things with them. For example, you can do more numerical statistics and create more ways of dividing documents into buckets. Like if you wanted to divide documents by geo distance, you can do that in Elasticsearch's aggregation. Think of it this way. For Solar, you have blazing fast facets or comparatively slow but super powerful streaming aggregations. For Elasticsearch, you have aggregations, which aren't as fast as Solar facets but are way more flexible. Non-flat data discovery. Elasticsearch and Solar have very similar nested document support, but there is a key difference. Elasticsearch has a very optimized but very restrictive parent-child structure, while Solar has the more powerful cross-collection join. Cross-joins are awesome and can be a real lifesaver in some use cases, but they are slightly slower than Elasticsearch. We could talk a very long time on this subject, but I think it would go beyond the scope of this video. Check out the link below for a full explanation, or leave a comment down below to let me know if I should make a video dedicated to this topic. And the final difference between Solar and Elasticsearch? The ecosystem. Having plugins and other tools that play nicely with your system is an absolute must for a good search platform. When it comes to search engines and their ecosystems, Elasticsearch definitely has the edge. According to a poll conducted by dbengines.com, Elasticsearch is about three times more popular than Solar. Because it's so popular, despite it no longer being open source, there is an amazing community that continues to contribute third-party tools to work well with Elasticsearch. But the real magic lies in the proprietary tools such as Logstash, Beats, or Kibana. These tools are created and supported by the official Elasticsearch team and just work really well with Elasticsearch. And this is kind of the fundamental theme of this whole discussion. Elasticsearch is owned by a company, and that company wants your business. So they really want your experience with this product to be easy to use, more hands-off, and more automated. Solar, on the other hand, is completely different. It's open sourced, so you do it all yourself. No one will stop you, but we do have a super active community of Solar contributors and users who will help you if there's anything wrong. So which is better, Elasticsearch or Solar? Well, it honestly depends on your needs and your limitations. Think of it like Mac versus Linux, which is better? Well, both of these are great options, and both of them are surprisingly similar under the hood, but the ultimate decision will vary from person to person. Do you like free stuff where for better or worse, total control is given to you and you don't mind spending a few nights setting it all up? Well then go with Solar. Or do you want a super powerful, user-friendly, polished and popular, but you might end up paying for some proprietary stuff down the line kind of experience? Then go with Elasticsearch. Both tools are great options and you can't really go wrong with either of them. If you need any help choosing, try speaking with one of our professional consultants. We've helped some of the biggest companies in the world with both solutions and can help you choose or even help you get it set up and running. But whichever one you choose, you will want to pick up a dynamic monitoring solution. Use Symitex to collect logs, monitor infrastructure, and set up alerts. Check out Symitex for free today. The link for that is down in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and we will answer as soon as possible. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Keep monitoring, everybody.